Carrie, Tori, and Grant have been playing with deadly radiation. Captain, I recommend we set all phasers to stun. They've exposed cockroaches, fruit flies, and flower beetles to three levels of this invisible killer. But which one will be crowned the ultimate survivor? That was a month ago, and ever since, they've been counting the dead. Ten. Ooh, no head on that one. It's been a morbid 30 days. But remember, these insects were always bred for death by science. <laughs> Just like Tori, the insects have been hit hard, but there are survivors. You know, this is crazy. This is the 10,000 rad. This is 10 times the lethal dose for humans, and look how many cockroaches are still kicking. And the flower beetles have gone one better. I have here in my hand the only remaining life form to have survived a 100,000 rad dose of radiation, the flower beetle. So is this myth busted or confirmed? And done. Okay, so the idea was that cockroaches would be the only thing to survive a nuclear blast. What do we get? Well, remarkably, cockroaches are really good survivors. After 30 days, the ones exposed to 10,000 rad still had 30% still alive. And the ones exposed to 1,000 rad had 50% still alive. It's pretty amazing. That's incredible, considering if we were exposed to 1,000 rad, we'd be dead. So it's confirmed. Cockroaches outsurvive humans after nuclear blast. True, but we tested three types of insects, and the other two did much better than cockroaches. Yeah, the fruit flies did really well until they died of natural causes. And then the flower beetles, well, they were the strongest. After being exposed to 100,000 rad, which is 100 times the amount that would kill us, they were still 10% alive. The cockroaches, there was none that survived after that kind of exposure. So the final result is that all the insects outsurvive humans, but as far as inheriting the earth, there are much better candidates than the cockroach. Which means it's busted. Busted. Just like our chances of reproducing.